Hello people, how are you getting on? What I'm going to be doing today is something different, what I've not done for a while, I'm going to be doing a scroll saw video. Uh, I was looking for a pattern and I actually found one. It's musical notes. I found this on the Steve Good website. I'll leave a link down to his uh, website and his YouTube channel down below in the description. So if you want to go and check out thousands of free designs on there, go down there, check them out. Right, I've actually made this design a little bit smaller than the original supposed to be. Um, and what I'm going to do, I've got some oak, because I've got plenty of it, i.e. old floorboards. Uh, so I'm going to use this old oak flooring. I'm going to show you how I mount the, the pattern onto the board. Uh, just use some masking tape to put on the board first. Then I use uh, a glue stick to go over the masking tape, stick the design to the masking tape and then put tape over the top of that, that helps to keep the blade lubricated. Uh, so I'll just show you that now and then we'll go from there. Right, so as you can see I've got my piece of board, I'll just give it a quick sand in at 120 and all I'm going to do is get the masking tape I'm going to cover the, the face with the masking tape, pressing it down, making sure there's no bubbles in it. This is just the way I like to do it, there is other ways of doing it, but this is the preferred method that I like doing. Uh, you can do it with, if you've got an inkjet or a laser printer, I'm not sure which version, where you uh, transfer the image using um, thinners, paint thinners, what you use for cars. Um, there is plenty of methods showing you that on the internet, uh, image transfers, but this is just the way I like to do it. So I've got my masking tape on there. I'm just going to get my design, Let's put that out of the way a minute. I'm just going to get a scrap. This is the stuff I use, cheap old stuff, nothing special, from a pound shop. I'm just going to line all that, all over the back. Make sure you get it all on, all along the edges. and then just place it onto your piece of wood and just press it all down And then another thing I like to do is get yourself an old card and just smear it on there to get any air bubbles out so you get a good adhesion. Like so. And then you get cellar tape. And because I've gone that way with the masking tape, I like going across the grain with the cellar tape. I'm going to start at the top, press it down, and then fold it underneath. Make sure it's flat on the back.
like so. Right, so all that's got the cello tape on it now. So all I'm going to do now is get a drill, and I'm going to drill all the inside cuts out first. I'm going to put a little hole in all of the inside cuts, and then I'm going to start working my way through all the inside first, and then I'm going to cut all around the outside. Right then, I've just put a new blade in. I've put a 5 TPI reverse tooth blade in it. Uh, so I'm just going to go and start. I'm going to cut all the uh, inside out first. I'm going to put this on speed speed up in a minute once I start. Save you uh, watching all the boring bits.
Just going to get on with this last inside cut now and then I'm going to go all around the outside and cut all the outside out. As you can see, I've just took that roughly back to the to the line. I'm going to get my uh, disc sander out now. <coughs> I'm going to take it right back to the line. <coughs> Right, so as you can see, done the base. We've done that. Just going to give it all the sand in now, and give it a sand in between the uh, in, in between the holes. Right then, guys, I've sanded it all down to two forty grit. Uh, and also what I did on the base, I got my uh, palm rotor and routed a little groove in there and sat the actual piece in there and glued it in place. But it's all been sanded to 240, all the base has been sanded, that's the finished piece. So all I've got to do now, I've wiped it down with uh, methylated spirits to get all the dust off. And that's the piece there. So all I'm going to do now is give it a quick, quick coat of uh, spray lacquer, and then we'll call it a day. We'll have it. We'll have it all done. Right then, that's the piece all finished now. I'll put a picture up here and show you the finished product. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, this was uh, a design off the Steve Good website. I'll put his links in the description down below to his uh, YouTube channel and his webpage where you can get the designs. Um, it's a relatively easy project. 
Uh, I'm no expert myself, I'm still learning every day. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, please share my videos, leave me a comment. I like to interact with everybody what comments on my videos. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining me.